Hi, I'm Marna. Merry Christmas 2019. I cannot believe it's already December 2019. We have been so busy the last few months and it's wonderful. I did send out craft packets and we have some fun crafts for the holiday season and we're going to cover both Christmas and New Year's. You will need scissors, needle and thread. Everything else is in your craft packets. For those that did not get a craft packet, I will try to remember to tell you where I got everything. We have some uh, really easy things this month and it's going to be a lot of fun. I love, love, love these little elf ornaments. You could hang these on a wall or a door or the Christmas tree. I just think they're so cute. After you finish this, you could also use it for a gift for someone. That's a, just a fun little gift. So I got these at the Dollar General and several came in the packet and you open it up and divide out the pieces, which I have already done and you punch out the little piece that's at the arm crook and look here is what it's going to look like on the back you peel the pieces i hope i'm doing this in the right order the ears will line up Let me put some glasses on i'm old you line up your ears, you got your face, and then you've got this red piece here. And if you look, you can see all the little pieces. You just have to very, very carefully press them out. And I mean slow and easy. And I don't do anything slow or easy. Um, and you wanna do this craft out of your packet first. And there's a reason, and we'll get to that reason in just a little bit. Now his hat, as you can see, sits right on top of the face. And then, with this same piece, if you look, where is it? There is this fancy collar. And that one, like I said, be very careful pulling it out, or you will tear it. And even if you tear it, just keep going. Just pull the stickers off the back and put it back together. It'll be fine. And you put this just under the elf's chin. Isn't that cute already? Okay, then we're going to look for his hair, which you can see it here. And again, very careful because it's got the, the little ridges to it. And you put the first piece by the ear over here you can tell it 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 follows the little um red piece and just put that up there and then you look for the second piece right here where'd it go here it is then you pull that out and it's kind of a triangle with a piece that goes down you'll know because it follows the um red and it touches the other side and then there's his ears and you pull these out very carefully I have bear paws you have more nimble fingers than I do okay and then you put put the ear on here and another ear I don't know what you're hoping for for Christmas but I hope you get exactly what you want and I hope you have a wonderful, marvelous Christmas season. Now, his nose is there too, but we're going to get his eyes next. And you'll see him in the little, the little black. And if you can't see it, ask somebody to help you because it's not that easy to see. Lining up the eyes. Okay, now when I did the first one, I'll be quite honest, I had to move the eyes. I had to move them around to make them symmetrical. So you might have to do the same and kind of put them like that. Uh, that's good. And then there's a little nose and you can put it up and down or sideways. I think sideways is the direction and I think it's real cute. Kind of like that between the eyes and you can kind of pick it up and move it a little bit if you need to. 
And then oddly, there's a black smile, which I think is real cute. And we'll pull it next. And pull the back off. Make a neat pile so you can throw that away after you finish with your craft and not leave a mess for someone else to clean up. There you go. Then there are these cute, cute, little shiny, glittery elf boots. Aren't they the cutest? I just love elves. I love the, everything about them. They're just cute. I like elf on a shelf. I have several. They have gotten so expensive, it's ridiculous though. And these, I think, are very cute. Um, so they could be your elf on a shelf if you wanted, or if you didn't have an elf on the shelf, well, now you do. Okay, sometimes you really have to go slow, or I would have torn that toe off that boot. So we get the boots on, Ouch. and then and then we pull the green, and that goes on the top of the boot on both sides. One and then the other. Okay, see it's got this little pouch? That goes right there. Tiana is, of course, after the cats. It's a game all day. You hear her in the background. I think she just likes to be heard in the background. She wants to be on TV, too. Okay. And then he's got this... Well, she deserved that. She's playing rough. They're playing rough. Stop it. Okay, the belt kind of goes in a U. It's a flat U. And it goes like this. Small side... Up. Then you have these really cute little gold pieces. One is a button or a bell, I suppose, and the other is a buckle. So we'll put that on and find. Now look at the buckle. You have to pull it out and then poke out the inside of it ever so carefully. Uh-oh, I did that wrong. I'll show you what I did wrong in just a second. Okay, then you put this in the middle. That's his belt buckle. Whoops, oops, oops. This one that I nailed down very, very tight is actually for the top of his hat. This one, the smaller circle, is the button. So that goes there. No big deal. Okay, then we're down to mittens. Oh, how cute are these? They're just little little mitts. They have a thumb, so you know what side to put them on. Just like that. Now, don't throw the glittery stuff away. We have a purpose for it today. And it's kind of a fun purpose. And his hand kind of goes over the belt like so. Then there's a white glittery piece glitters like snow that goes just above the mitten on either side. Okay, there's your little guy. That's everything, right? Now, he has a little punch out that if you press it with the back and pull it with the front or vice versa, you pull out. Now he's got a hole you take your gold string, put it through, ah, 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 like this. Now watch me make a knot. Most of you in YouTube land know how to do this, but some beginners don't. Both cords twisted around, back up through, and push your knot towards the top. See how I'm doing with my finger? And there you go. You have an elf ornament and craft pieces. I love these fancy holiday Barbie dresses. I just really, really like them. You could just have Barbie wear it as is or your fashion doll. However, I thought it would be fun. I don't like throwing usable items away. So I thought it would be fun to put a belt and a little corsage or trinket. Oh, look at her necklace, we can't have that. On her dress. And so what I used was the, um, the elf 
trash, I guess we could call it, fall off. And I kind of took scissors and made a belt like so. Doesn't have to be real straight. Mine never is. Okay, and then you just put that at the, see the front? And then here's the two darts. And I just put that around like this, pressed it down really, really good. Now, I did find when I put the doll on the stand that this kind of pushed out, so just watch that. And then I took the gold, where is that cut out? You could just do the belt um, cut out as is, but I'm gonna kind of cut each point off the square. Take that, and you could use any color. You got all these colors. I thought the white would be pretty too, but since the dress kind of has gold in it, that's what I used. And isn't that a pretty addition? And that stuff did not end up in the trash. I forgot to mention that the red dress that we adorned with the fall off from the elf ornament came from eBay and so did the New Year's Eve dress. They were, um, gosh, just a great deal on eBay and I bought several. Um, we're gonna do another craft using the fall off from the ornament and that is we're gonna make a little wreath for our fashion dolls and the elves. Now some of you got fashion dolls and some of you got the little elves. The fashion dolls this month came from Walmart and are new. The little elves are new and they came from uh, Dollar Tree. In your packet you will have a piece of a paper towel roll. If you don't, if yours is too squished from the ride there, I just kind of squish this down to show you how to round it back out. If yours is too squished you can use a paper towel roll or a um, toilet paper roll. I'm not big on toilet paper roll. Um, they're not dirty. It just, they just seem dirty to me. I don't know. Silly me. Okay, take one of your pipe cleaners. Put your thumb on it, on your roll. Twist it around. Bring it around another time. And then what you're going to do is slide it off and take your ends and twist them around the circle. Both, you can go both directions. Try to keep it the same size, okay? Then take your second piece and kind of twist it into your reef. Pull it through the middle, wrap around, Pull it through the middle, wrap around, and so forth. And you just keep taking it around. And that makes a fatter, more stable Barbie door reef. You could hang these on your tree, or Barbie could hold it in her hand, or you could put it on your shelf by Barbie, and just keep taking it all the way around as far as it will go and keep it see how i'm pressing this down kind of keep it round with the other hand kind of round and then when you get to the end give it a quick tight twist okay what i did was i took and i cut triangles which was very very easy i just cut the corners and then i adorned my Little reef making it round again. You can make any, you can make them square, you can make them circle, you can make anything. I, I like the triangles. We have these cute little elves that a couple of you got in your craft packet. Like I said, they came from Dollar Tree. I think they're adorable. I love elves. So I thought, well, we should make a sleeping bag or a throw blanket, you know, for sitting around watching Christmas movies. And Darren came up with a really cute idea of what if a stocking were the elves' sleeping bag. Well, how cute is that? But he needs a pillow. So what we're going to do is in your craft packet, you got a 
piece of fabric that looks like this and some cotton balls. And if you turn, take your fabric, turn it inside correct or outside in or inside out. And then you took your cotton balls, put them into the pillow. Now, this is where you'll need needle and thread. I have already covered how to thread your needle, how to sew, how to knot it. So I'm just going to tell you, take your Christmas fabric and your needle and thread. And you turned in the edges. I did turn in the edges, yeah. Thank you for noticing. And sew that like this. And doesn't the little elf look comfy with his little pillow under his head, tucked in his stocking sleeping bag? In your packet, you will have a little craft project that looks like this. And you need to be very careful when you open this because there is a tiny piece of Velcro you will need. So set that to the side very carefully. Pull out your items. And this is going to be this dress. Now I adorn this two ways. I did it with the tinsel. I prefer this one. But I also made this one so that you could see it. And that has lace on it. And if you have lace at home, you could do that. If you wanted to, you could take something and make a pattern uh, by, after you cut this out, lay it on a piece of paper and draw around it so that you have a pattern for your next uh, dress. Leave your pins in your dress as it came. The reason is when you're cutting this out and when you're sewing it, those pins will keep it together. And just cut out both sides along the line and this will be the back side of your dress. And after we sew it, we will turn it inside right and add tinsel. And just cut both sides. Try to go slow. I don't do anything slow or easy, but you probably do it better than me. To make this dress, for those of you out in YouTube land, I laid my Barbie, one of the articulated Barbies, out on the dress with her, or, yeah, on the fabric with her arms out. I drew at the wrist, came down to her waist, left a little room, and then cut the dress as such. Then I took the pattern, folded it in half so that it would be equal. The fabric, like most of my stuff, came from leftover projects or garage sales from someone else's leftover project. Okay, fold your dress in half, right at the arms, and we are gonna cut, remember how we cut a tiny little hole because Barbie has such a small neck. See that? Then we're gonna lay it flat and on the back side, doesn't matter which is back, I put the back as where you can see the seam a little bit. Very carefully inside the hole, not like this, but inside the hole, cut down evenly about one inch, just like that. This will not fray, so you'll be safe just leaving it. You don't have to do anything there. And we will be adding tinsel. Take your needle and thread, and I start at the arms so that they're more um, even and just make your running stitch all the way over down the waist down the dress skirt and then do the other side as well after your dress is sewn very carefully take your safety pins out close them hang on to them we'll probably use those for another craft like we have our um, Clothes pins and glue. If you had a take one of the baggies I sent from the crafts, put that stuff in there and put it up in your house somewhere. 
maybe in your room in a drawer so that when we do our crafts you can go get it out okay so this is what you've got and you've got your stitches turn your dress inside right very carefully and slowly and your sleeves will take a little longer to pull sometimes a good push is what they need take your finger and put it in like you would Barbie's hand um, pull those out turn your whole dress in sometimes turning things inside out takes more time than you think and sometimes it's really frustrating now if you need to let me show you another little trick we could have done this a little different and I could have shown you that. Take your safety pin and push it through. We could have also pinned on and pulled that through. Let me see if I can show you this. Okay, see how I'm pushing that with the safety pin? And it's not working. Pushing, and then I'm able to pull it easier because it's flattened out and lined up reach in and pull that this takes a little time don't don't lose patience don't don't yank it you know just take your time okay so there is your basic red dress okay and i've got my needle and thread ready and to put the tinsel on i started in the back and i put it at the bottom of the dress doesn't have to be centered Probably cuter if it is, but it doesn't have to be. Put your needle and thread in. Now we're going to do this a little different than we've sewed before. We're going to whip stitch it, and that means come out of the fabric, go back around your tinsel, and pull. And what that does is it sews your tinsel down. And you do that all the way around the dress like this, just a whip stitch. When you get to the end, after you've taken your tinsel all the way around, not go over the, overlap your tinsel a little bit, and then very carefully bend that up and snip it off and then start sewing. See how that sticks kind of out? I think that's cute. Kind of kind of gives it some body. And then do that around your sleeves and your neck. After you've done that, you have this piece of Velcro. One side, there's two sides to it, and it is stick on. And if you take that off, well, that's pretty stuck which is a good thing because it'll stay stuck to the fabric. Okay, and then you put that, you'll have your tinsel coming out like this one is. Put it below your tinsel, one side up. Now watch, because this matters. Well, if I can get this other side, my nails are a mess. I've been doing so much, I'm busy. Okay, then the other side goes inside the dress so that when you velcro it after you put it on Barbie it sticks like that and after Christmas what do we start saying happy new year and what do we do new, new year's put our Christmas decorations away so we have this cute little I think it's adorable fancy New Year's Eve dress and you also have a pair of purple shoes to match for your uh, fashion dolls. Remember I said hang on to this uh, glitter um, ornament stuff. What I did was I cut a little piece and I put it on the dress, the dress here. What you could do if you wanted is cut cut a piece to go around the neck or use this piece like that or a different color anything you wanted just cut it out add it to your dress happy new year thank you so much for joining us and watching this video um 
I think I said where everything came from for those of you that do not receive our craft packets but might want to try it. Um, I hope it gave you some ideas to use um, leftover craft items like we did from the ornaments and I just want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas and Happy New Year!